Hey everybody, I have a video here for you today. Now I have about five videos that I know I'm going to be making for sure, and some I've already started, so I'm going to try to finish all those off in the next few days. But today we're going to go down to Baraboo, Wisconsin, the land of beer and cheese and Aaron Rodgers fans. Here is the city located pretty much in the heart of Wisconsin. Back out here, here is the Wisconsin Dells right here, popular vacation spot. But we are going to go just east of town here, and this is a pretty unique spot as far as ancient America and the people who put in the mounds and the effigies. You notice these two white lines here. The two white lines there are actually feet that are painted in. Part of this man mound, as it is called, was lost when the highway was put in here. But this is over 214 feet long. Let's take a look at what this looks like. Now here is a view without the leaves on the trees so you get an idea of what this figure looks like. 214 feet long and I believe 48 feet across. So this is a pretty good size mound. And what we have left is what hasn't eroded away over the centuries. And they're just not sure what this represents. And they're not sure when it was built, but they guess maybe 500 AD, 1000 AD. They give ballpark figures like that. Now I did find a couple fairly recent articles. This is one of them from Only in Your State. It says, this is the oldest place you could possibly go in Wisconsin, and its history will fascinate you. It is the only surviving anthropomorphic effigy mound that remains in North America. Here is all that remains today, what hasn't eroded away, and the height of this is maybe comparable to Serpent Mound. Here is the little plaque commemorating this park in 1908. Here is an old photo before the highway was put in, or just as the highway was being put in, and I guess they used maybe white stones to outline this form a long time ago. Here is a sign here, it says, the huge likeness of a man is sought to represent a powerful Indian god. The aborigines who made it may have been the effigy mound builders. These Indians lived here about 1,000 years ago. Nearly 900 of their earthworks have been found in Sauk County. They were often used for burials. Man Mound was first surveyed in 1859 by William Canfield. The lower extremities were cut off by road construction before the park was established in 1908. Another man mound near Lavelle was destroyed some years ago. And here is an article from just a couple months ago from the Reedsburg Times Press. Let me just read. William Canfield first surveyed the man mound in 1859. At the time, it was one of only two known man-shaped mounds in the state, the other being located near Lavelle. In 1905, H.E. Cole, local historian and photographer, and A.B. Stout, science teacher at Baraboo High School were conducting an archaeological survey of area mounds and of the man mound in particular. They soon learned that the owner of the property was about to commit the property to plow. The two men launched an immediate appeal to the Wisconsin Archaeological Society and the Sauk County Historical Society in an effort to obtain the grounds upon which the mound was situated. A committee was formed and a movement was organized to raise $225 to purchase the property. Among those on the committee were H.E. Cole and Jacob Van Orden. Donations of small amounts between $1 and $15 were suggested so that more people could participate in the acquisition. The Wisconsin Federation of Women's Clubs and the Wisconsin Archaeological Society also helped procure funds. By the end of 1907, the money had been raised and the property was purchased. Cole immediately began clearing the land of vines and brush, seeding grass, setting boundaries, and installing hitching posts. Van Orden donated a plaque commemorating the mound's discovery and preservation. On August 8, 1908, a group of 200 assembled at the Warren Hotel and proceeded to the site of Man Mound Park to dedicate the land and the marker. A cloud of choking dust enveloped the travelers as they traveled to the site over the dirt roads in their open-air autos and horse-drawn carriages. John M. True of Baraboo spoke to those assembled. We are pleased to note that the increasing interest 
that has been manifested in the discovery and the preservation of the class of relics of a people long since forgotten, of which Man Mound is considered of the greatest interest and importance of all Wisconsin's celebrated emblematic earthworks. But here is a pic from 1908 in the ceremony dedicating Man Mound. Here is one of the diagrams from the researchers here a century ago. And here are all the effigy mounds that were documented in this general area a long time ago. A lot of birds, a lot of animals, looks like a buffalo, other things documented here. And this is one of the other mounds that was shaped like a man right here on the right. And that was found, I believe, in Lavelle, Wisconsin. But looking on Google Earth, this is perfectly aligned north-south. So what this could have represented, well, it had to be something very important. And these people watch the skies, and you notice he appears to be striding. And if you look at Orion in the night sky, what would be his left foot appears to be a little higher than his right foot. So in, even in Egypt, they call him Orion, the striding one, because he appears to stride over the night sky. That's a possibility of what this thing represents in my eyes. But any possibility of what this thing is, I'd love to hear your comments. Once again, you can see from the original drawing when the whole mound was here that he does appear to be striding. I will leave some links below. But back right after the turn of the century, over 100 years ago, some people here did a great job in preserving this mound. It was about to be plowed under and destroyed like thousands of other mounds in this area at this time. So there are some people here that deserve some credit about a century after the fact, for from everybody who appreciates ancient history and preserving sacred sites. So that definitely deserves to be noted in this video. We have ancient human effigies all over the world that get a lot more attention than this. This is 210 feet long, and they put a road in here over a century ago, and we lost the lower part and the legs and the feet. Couldn't you have moved the road just a little bit to avoid that? But some preservation put in over a century ago. This is what we have left today. I will also leave this link below, Big River Magazine, Effigy Mounds of the Wisconsin River Valley. And these are across from Muscoda, Wisconsin. And that's not too far away from Baraboo. And here is a large bird mound that only part of it is above the surface of what looks like a swamp here. But once again, this is what we have. Legs just kind of put in here to say, hey, this is what we had a long time ago. What this was originally, some sort of god of some sort. Others in different camps, such as Giorgio. Could it be aliens? But that is the story of the Man Mound, as it is called today near Baraboo, Wisconsin. We have a lot of earthworks that were destroyed in this part of the world. There was some preserved, this is one of them. But what this was originally, that's anybody's guess. Love to hear your comments. Hope you thought that was cool. And you all have a very nice day.